there you are welcome back let's have another pin cast and our goal for today we always need a goal and today it is to practice journalizing some transactions in a previous pin cast I gave you a little tool that I like to help use when trying to remember how to debit and credit accounts and that rule was to make a T account and write the balance sheet equation on top of it with the equal sign right in the middle and then to put debits on the debit side of a T account and credit on the credit side of a T account and then show that's how those type of accounts are increased assets with debits liabilities and total owner's equity with credits to decrease me do the opposite and I'm going to now just make up some transactions with you and have you think through the analyzing process and make a journal entry with me so let's start the first transaction is to invest $15,000 cash in a business. If you were using the balance sheet equation that we used in the last chapter, you would say, well, assets get bigger and owner's equity get bigger. If you were using the worksheet, how can we make that transaction happen in a journal entry? Put this pin cast on pause. Ah, let's do the first one together. Let's do, if you invest $15,000 cash in a business, what are the two accounts that are affected? I think cash and capital. I would like to make cash bigger and capital bigger. I look up at my accounting equation and I see to make an asset bigger debit it. So I'm going to debit cash for $15,000 and that makes my assets bigger. That's been accomplished and now I'm going to indent a little bit and credit capital for $15,000. I have increased owner's equity. So my balance sheet equation is balance, and that's my first journal entry. Let's try another one. Here's my second transaction. Purchase equipment for $10,000, paying cash of eight, and the balance on account. When I look at that transaction and I think of the balance sheet equation, I notice that equipment goes up cash goes down and liabilities go up. The equipment goes up for 15,000, cash goes down for 8, and liabilities go up for 7. 15 minus 8 has assets changing by 7, liabilities changing by 7. Let's make a journal entry that makes that happen. How do you make equipment and asset bigger? I look up back at my T account and I see I need to debit equipment to make equipment bigger. And I have just purchased. Uh oh, I think we need to change our uh, equipment purchase to 15 to make that transaction work. What do you think? Okay, my mistake, sorry. Equipment goes up for 15. Now the problem's back on track. And cash goes down for 8. So I'll credit that. Cash is an asset and I want to make it smaller. And you make assets smaller with credit. And accounts payable gets bigger by the difference and that would be making it bigger by 7 and you can see my journal entry my balance sheet equation work 
Let's do another journal entry. This journal entry is going to pay off my equipment that I purchased above. So if you look at that in the balance sheet equation, if you pay off equipment, assets are going to go down and liabilities are going to go down. How do I make a cash asset? Smaller cash is an asset. I look up my T account and I notice oh, to decrease assets I need to credit them. And to decrease liabilities I need to debit them. So I'm going to debit accounts payable for the difference that I owe now which is 7000 and credit cash for 7000 My transaction now matches what I thought would happen with my balance sheet equation. Let's do another transaction. The owner withdraws $500 for personal use. On our balance sheet equation, cash would go down because the owner withdrew cash and we have owner's equity going down so we need to debit it, and we'll debit it through a draws account. So I look up at my balance sheet equation and I need to make owner's equity smaller so I will debit the capital account which makes owner's equity smaller by $500 and I will credit cash for $500. This journal entry has now accomplished what I would have done in my worksheet in chapter one. Two more journal entries and we'll be through. All right then, let's do another one. Let's perform services in the amount of $1,000 and get paid immediately. Woo -hoo! It's my favorite kind of job, kind you get paid for right off the bat. So let's see, if we get $1,000 right off, cash will go up. We've earned revenue. Revenue is part of owner's equity. When you have revenue, it's owner's equity bigger. So my journal entry will need to increase cash. I don't have my little help anymore on my page. But I remember increase assets with debits and increase owner's equity or the revenue account which is part of owner's equity the credit and we now have increased owner's equity one more and we'll be done this journal entry is to pay the current month's rent of six hundred dollars since it's the current months it's not prepaid it's just a current month's expense. Cash will be going down and owner's equity will be going down because we have an expense. So, how do you make owner's equity smaller? You debit it, so I'll debit rent expense and rent expense gets bigger, but owner's equity gets smaller as expenses grow and cash drop $600 because they pay my current month's rent. Hopefully that was a good review for you of how to journalize.